Welcome to the series of Azure ML Toolbox video tutorials. Today you will learn how to use score model and set up a web service in Azure ML. So let's talk about score model first. Score model scores the predictions for a trained classification or regression model. The predicted value can be in many different formats depending on the model and your input data. If you are using classification model to generate the scores, then score model gives a predicted value for the class as well as the probability of the predicted value. If you are using regression model to generate the scores, the score model will generate the predicted numeric value. If you are using image classification models, the score might be the class of object in an image or a boolean value indicating whether a particular feature was found or not. I have this entire module ready to go into score model control. To watch how I configured the existing module on the canvas, watch video tutorials on select columns in dataset, split data and train model control. Let's drag score model on the canvas. Connect output of train model to the left input port of score model and connect right output port of split data control which is test data to the right input port of score model. In the properties pane of score model, there is only one option to configure which is append score column to output. This is checked by default and will attach the predicted score in the output result. Now let's run the experiment. Let's visualize the output results. As you can see, this is the scored dataset and since we are using linear regression model, the output only has scored label column and not scored probabilities column which you get when using classification model. Here the price column indicates the original price of the car and the scored label column indicates the predicted price of each car by using different variables such as body style, wheel base, horsepower, etc. So in the first row, make of car is Nissan and there are a bunch of parameters in front of it. And the second last column is price, where the price of Nissan is 13,499. And in the last column, a scored label is generated for Nissan, which is 16,865.85. This is the predicted value of Nissan based on all the parameters in this row. If you want to evaluate the accuracy of predicted values, connect score dataset to evaluate model to generate a set of matrix used for evaluating the model's accuracy or performance. There are some exceptions or special types of models where you cannot use score model, but you can use custom scoring modules in such cases. For scoring a clustering model, we can use assign to clusters control, which would score the clustered results. If you are creating recommendations or generating data for evaluating a recommender, then you will have to use score matchbox recommender model. Once the prediction results have been understood, the experiment can be published as a web service so that we can deploy it in various applications and be called to obtain price predictions or any new automobile model. So the input for the web service would be from right input port of score model. And for the output, we can select desired output columns by attaching select column in dataset control to the output port of score model. I am only interested in scored labels column, which is predicted column. So I will just select scored labels and I will drag it to selected columns and then press OK. Once you are done with selecting output columns, we can go ahead and set up web service. To set up web service, we have to go to web service tab and then drag input and output controls on the canvas, which will attach it to the desired locations. Or we can also hit the setup web service button, which is at the bottom of the page, which would determine where to attach these two controls. Now I will use web service input and web service output controls. I will connect output of web service input to the input port of score model and I will connect the output of select column in dataset to the input port of web service output. 
Now we are ready to deploy our experiment. But before that, we first have to run the entire experiment to ensure that all the updates and experiment have been verified at least once. So I'll run the experiment. Now we can deploy the web service. To do so, click on Setup Web Service option at the bottom of the page. Here we have got two more options. The first option is Predictive Web Service, which is recommended by Azure ML by understanding our data set. And the other one is Deploy Web Service. We want to click on Deploy Web Service. You will be headed to the Web Services page where you can test the web service. So click on the Test button and a new window will appear where you will have to enter the data to predict. I will type the first entry from our data set which was for Nissan Make. And then press OK. The web service has returned the results for our input. Let's expand this tab. We can see that the score model has returned the test results as 16865.85. To verify this result, let's click on View Latest under Published Experiment. Let's see the output of score model to verify the scored label value for the first entry. As you can see, the first entry is for Nissan Make and other parameters are exactly same that we have used to test the results. And in the score labels column, it indicates 16865.85, which is exactly same as the value returned by the test results. Hence, we have verified the results for scoring model. So this is how we can use score model and web service input output controls. Thanks for watching.